Hello guys, in this video I want to show you a new feature in Laravel 11.8 that allows you to structure multiple route files more easily in the bootstrap app file which appeared in Laravel 11 as a pretty important configuration file and this is a pull request by Prashant Rial. So I will show you that new approach in action but also will show you multiple ways how to handle multiple routes file structure based on Laravel Breeze example because there are at least a few ways how to structure multiple routes files in Laravel. So let's take a look at the default Laravel Breeze, which has routes web, but at the end of that routes web, we have require auth. So Laravel Breeze doesn't need any changes in Bootstrap app with routing configuration. It just loads a separate auth routes inside of the web PHP. And then inside of that auth, even more interesting, we have two route groups, guest controllers and then auth controllers. So basically Laravel Breeze takes care of its route on its own without interacting with your global Laravel configuration at all. Those routes are all in the middleware group of web in the same file just included as kind of additional file to the public routes. But another approach to add second, third and other routes files is in the global Laravel configuration which used to be route service provider before Laravel 11 and in Laravel 11 it was moved to bootstrap app as well as other configuration. So if you wanted to add another route file here I will uncomment that there's then structure you do route middleware web or any other middleware and then with group you pass the file name as a parameter and then in the routes web we comment that out we refresh the home page and those Laravel Breeze routes still work so I can log in I can go to register with fake filler Chrome extension. We register a fake user and dashboard also works well. And this approach comes from the official Laravel docs on routing in routing customization section. This is kind of the recommended way to add another route file. But it depends on whether that route file has separate parameters like middleware prefix or name or something like that. If it does, then yes, you should use then. But if it doesn't, like in case of Laravel Breeze, we just need to include auth here. So what Laravel 11.8 allows us to do, this is where I come to that new feature here. And you can read the whole motivation in the pull request. I will link that in the description below. We can do this. We can allow an array of routes in the same group of web. And by the way, side tip, if you want to find out more about a new feature of Laravel released, somewhere down below quite often they link to the pull request to the documentation. So this is exactly here. This is already documented and if we follow that link we land on the documentation pull request with this practical example. So in our case what we need to do is instead of then we transform that into array where we have routes web PHP and then also routes auth PHP and then we don't need that then at all. And let's check if that is commented out. Yes, so we don't have auth here. We don't have auth here. We load it here. And let's check. Whoops, sorry. Let's check if it does still work. Reload the home page. Login. Register. Still seems to work with all the dashboard as well. So this is that new feature of Laravel 11.8. If you have multiple route files in the same web group or same API group without customization of middlewares and stuff like that, you can pass them as an array. But if you do have customizations like for example versioning of APIs with v1 and v2, then still the recommended way is to use then. For example, in our course on Laravel daily about APIs in Laravel, there's a lesson about v1 and v2 versioning. So this is the v1. If you have only v1, this would be the code of routing. But then if you want to add v2, this would look something like this. So you cannot add API v2 here to API as an array because they have different prefixes. I know it sounds a bit messy, so if this, then that, but also there's this option and stuff like that, but I hope you already got used to that in Laravel. It's pretty typical to have several options to do the same things, like include file in the routes or configure that in Bootstrap app PHP, and both could work. 
And by the way, if you're interested in the full course about API, including routing, I will link that in the description below. And also subscribe to the channel where I will often review newer features of Laravel. For example, in 11.8, there's that many changes just in one minor version of the week. Some of them are fixes or kind of invisible updates, but quite a few interesting features are added pretty much every week. So subscribe to the channel to get to know them first. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.